What's up everyone, I'm back here with another quick video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize the touch bar on the MacBook Pro. Uh, this goes for both the 13-inch MacBook Pros and the 15-inch MacBook Pros, as well as the newly released 16-inch MacBook Pros. Basically, all MacBook Pros that have a touch bar on it, uh, this, this process will apply. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you need to do is jump up menu bar up here at the top and you want to find the option called view and you want to click that and then you want to drop down to the very bottom or near the bottom of the drop down menu and you can see we have a customized touch bar option so if we click on that you now get the standard touch bar editing menu and basically this allows you to customize various different buttons for the touch bar when you're on the desktop or using the finder. So right now, there's actually currently nothing in the touch bar for this particular area. So uh, let's say, for example, you want to put a new window or you want to be able to quickly open up a new finder window rather. Uh, you just grab that, drag it down to the touch bar, let go, and then there you go. That button has now been added. And then say you want to have quick access to trashing something so you can just grab the trash can put it down there as well and basically you can fill up this whole entire space so you can see here i'm just adding a bunch of little buttons uh however you want it to be so you can just fill up all of this empty space uh with little buttons if you want so we have put a share button down here and there you go so you can basically put a maximum of eight buttons within the touch bar on this particular area. And then if you want to get back to the default layout, if you don't want to have all of these buttons in here, you can either remove all of them and have it just blank and have nothing in the touch bar, or you can grab this here called default set and it'll put it to the default layout to have these specific buttons in here. Uh, but again, if you don't want anything, you just drag out all of the buttons individually as such. So we drag all of these out and there's a spacer, drag the spacer out, and then there you go. So now the touch bar is back to being completely empty. So there you go. That's basically how that is done. And then when you're done editing, just go up here to the Done button. Click that, and there you go. So basically, one more thing. Uh, the same exact process applies uh, to essentially any application and or program that supports the touch bar. So let's, for example, say we open up Safari. So let's go ahead and open Safari. Uh, you just have to go up to the same exact menu bar item up here, click View, and then go down, Customize Touch Bar. And then you see now we have a total different array of buttons that we can choose from. So basically, with the different applications, uh, each application has a different set of touch bar buttons that you can add and or customize which is pretty cool. So Safari has all of these various different buttons, so you can add the search and or address, a search bar on there, autofill, favorite, sidebar, share, all that stuff, adding a bookmark if you want to have quick access to that. It's pretty cool, so you can like this, drag the bookmark button down there, and there you go, hit done. And now we have a quick access to bookmarking a web page. And then to give an example of an application that does not support touch bar customization would be music. So if we go up to view here, you can see there are no options to customize the touch bar. So basically the buttons that music implements into the touch bar are the buttons that have to stay and you cannot customize them unfortunately. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope it helped you guys out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel greatly. Uh, hit that thumbs up button as well. That is also really greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments or need help in any way, uh, just drop a comment below and I'll make sure to help you guys the best as I possibly can. And yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.